What makes this game special is that it's between two members of the Chess Gurukul Academy. They work together, Kartikeyan Murli and Vaishali Ramesh Babu. E4 by Kartikeyan opens the game and Vaishali plays E5. Although Vaishali is a very aggressive player, she generally prefers going E4, E5 and has found uh, sort of attacking and interesting lines there. Knight C6, the bishop goes to B5. Now this is the Rui Lopez and Vaishali goes A6, which is the main move. And of course, Kartikeyan plays his bishop back to A4. Now the main line is Knight F6 and Vaishali does play it, Knight F6. So until now, there is no real um, sideline that she's gone for. White has castled it out. And let's see what Vaishali does now. She plays her bishop to c5. So the Archangel's variation, c3 played here by uh, Kartikeyan. And black quickly castles it out. Now the pawn comes up to d4 and strikes in the center. So Vaishali simply <coughs> drops her bishop back to a7. Very interesting decision. If you take here, she wants to pick up the pawn on e4. You can see Kartikeyan thinking there. Bishop g5 is the main move in this position and could be interesting. There's also rook e1. So there are a few options that can be tried, but Kartikeyan takes on e5. And now after d takes e5, the e4 pawn would be hanging. So knight takes e4 is taken by Vaishali and she is putting pressure on the f2 point now queen d5 played very interesting move with queen d5 the knight is attacked the knight goes back and attacks the bishop the bishop comes back and look at this beautiful diagonal that the bishop is looking at but you can see vaishali's time is 132 which means she's still in his preparation now the queen has to move away but where exactly would you go to i think queen d1 makes a lot of sense yes queen d1 played here by kartikeyan and vaishali now has to decide how to develop this bishop d6 or d5 is the main move she goes d5 and kartikeyan just takes it en passant queen takes d6 happens and now queen takes on d6 pawn takes on d6 you will see that black has got an isolated pawn but in return for that has very free piece play in the position and i think uh, that's how she is she has one hour 32 minutes and kartikeyan has 53 minutes he's trying to think on what is the best configuration for his pieces should he go bishop e3 should he go knight a3 should he go rook d1 so all of these possibilities exists. He goes rook d1. I like this move because he is attacking the d6 pawn. And after almost 8 minutes of thought, I think Vaishali hasn't yet decided on what to do. Because you can get very passive with rook d8. But I think Vaishali's overall style is very, very active and aggressive. And so she's wondering if she can do it without saving the pawn and she goes bishop g4. I like this move a lot because if you take the pawn, I can now play this very subtle move bishop f5. And after takes, knight takes, black is already better because the rooks are coming into the center of the board. So very interesting. Kartikeyan doesn't take it. He goes bishop e3. I don't know if Vaishali would have played this move bishop f5 after rook takes d6 but still it's a very interesting line to consider. Bishop takes bishop knight and now g takes f3 has to be played. Takes So white's structure is ruined slightly <coughs> but on the other hand black pushes the pawn to d5 uh, and also white has got the bishop pair now. Knight comes to d2. And I think Vaishali's main idea would be to exchange one pair of bishop. But Kartikeyan goes knight b3. And now uh, when the bishops are traded, white structure would get better. So that's the reason why Vaishali goes a5. She doesn't want to trade it. 
on her own kartikeyan plays a5 and says this pawn is now weak but he can't take it because bishop e3 and he would lose the knight so plays rook to d8 hmm. and black defends the pawn kartikeyan goes rook d2 he wants to bring the other rook to d1 and vaishali now down to 37 minutes on the clock she definitely is feeling some pressure here <coughs> and she goes g5 this is very active play also she is limiting these pawns of white and kartikeyan can now bring his other rook into the game and try to put pressure here yes he does it he puts his rook on d1 and attacks the d5 pawn and vaishali goes king g7 okay for the time being this pawn is not hanging because it's defended firmly so kartikeyan now plays king to f1 he improves the position of his king maybe the king would be useful on e2 and h6 played by vaishali very calm cool move and knight jumps to d4 so the knight is in the center and vaishali now can uh, do something interesting she takes she's trading pieces takes is a check to the king so she must take off the bishop yes she took takes it <coughs> and now rook takes so there is some pressure here but vaishali's next move is very nice it's actually a brilliant move rook a6 now the rook can go here and defend but it can also go here and attack b2 and also go to f6 and attack f3 so it's a very active rook bishop comes to e4 and pins the pawn if you take it the rook is hanging on d8 <coughs> so that needs to be saved but you could also attack <coughs> the pawn on b2 no she goes rook a d6 and now kartikeyan plays a very nice move f4 if you take g takes f4 then after bishop f3 rook takes f4 is coming and white would be slightly better so vaishali under some pressure 27 moves have been completed 13 more moves to make she goes b6 and now kartikeyan pushes his pawn to c4 so he is very clearly going after this pawn on d5 but i think vaishali has a clear route now she plays f5 very nice move the bishop has to move so bishop goes back to g2 and i think now the point is you take on f4 this is great because if you take here then i can take d takes c4 it's no longer a pin so kartikeyan goes and takes the pawn and he's hoping that he can also win the f4 pawn but actually king f6 is nice but now if you take here i have knight takes d5 so he goes rook d3 and i think vaishali can already start to press a bit she goes rook c8 Kartikeyan plays his rook to h3 and attacks the h6 pawn. Vaishali defends it with king g5. And now rook goes to c3 offering a trade of rooks. White black brings the rook to d8 attacking d5. King comes to e2. But maybe now you can take the pawn or not really if you take the pawn here then there is rook d3 and so first vaishali gives up f3 very smart move bishop takes and now knight d5 and her point is if you go rook d3 there is knight f4 check which would be troublesome so rook g1 check king comes to f6 and bishop d5 kartikeyan offers a draw and vaishali accepts it it's a draw there and a very solid game by vaishali